Pooyang back once more! <laughs> the wretch Lu Bu managed to slip away. <laughs> Fled with his tail between his legs. Huh? <laughs> Are you a Shao soldier? <laughs> 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 The Shao Duan I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. charges. We've been there to give our blades in support. It's up to us, the Shaho clan, to guide Munda on the path to victory. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us. But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all the land. You just watch. Looks like I owe you one. <laughs> Glad to have you back. I couldn't die before seeing you end the chaos across the land. <laughs> the flag of the Lubu army has been raised at Xiaopei City Tower. Hmm. That Lubu. Ever impatient to bite at his next prey. <laughs> I've heard that Xiao Pei was stripped from you in Xuanta's absence. It was... It was the booze! Otherwise, they would have never... Did I not warn you enough times? It's my fault! I will redeem myself by offering up this lie! You clumsy fool! <laughs> Hmm. Yida. Do not be so ready to throw your life away. Remember the oath we took. Brother. If you were to die, I too would follow you in death. Then I, Zhang Fei! We'll take back Zhao Pei single-handedly! I won't fail you again! Dida, just calm down for a moment. I shall accompany you. And I too. Your mistakes are our mistakes, brother. <laughs> Brothers, let's shake the ground beneath their feet! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Will you lend us your hand as well? I am thankful to have an ally with such compassion and honor as yourself. A warrior risks his life for his duty. I will not step down. For what purpose do you wager your life? I've roamed this land with Bishia, honing my blade, in search of what makes a warrior. Now, I think I have finally come upon an answer. We may lose our lives in battle, but we shall never lose our spirit. A warrior fights for something that they can't bear to lose. I looked up to General Liu, he was a true warrior among warriors. If my life were to end today, I'd leave no regrets. Except maybe wishing that I had known another warrior of such high caliber was in our midst. You would not stand in my way, if not for a good reason. Killing you will be regrettable. How about you? Surrender and serve the Imperial Court. Have mercy on my men. Then I will pledge allegiance with no objection. Lu Bu is making a final stand at Shapi. You had best come with us. Wait. My brother is. I am a man of honor, so I can't tell you everything now. Attack! Send Shapi into the depths. Yes, my lord. It would appear, Minister Chao, that you have many talented men serving you. However, why does Lubu not use the elixir? Hmm? Huh? What? What? The sound. against impossible hardship. So then why? Why not use the elixir? I... I was waiting... for this moment! Hmm? 
<laughs> the blight of the elixir. It all ends here. And now. <laughs> I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hope to track Yuji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yuji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. General Liu was determined to not let you get involved. He fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I 
could see General Yuan's star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds, but his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Forces have taken the Yanjin Fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chao. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what do the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Aman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> now we've taken Bai Ma back. Yun Chang. It's spring. A fine season to set out on a journey. <laughs> In Yanjin. Some are saying that Qin Long descended from heaven. And that he has been imprisoned by a human. Can it be? That my brother is there? Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? <laughs> you brought the horse that was tethered in the stable! Uh, red hair! It's alive! It can travel a thousand miles a day. But 
It is said that it chooses its master. <laughs> it seems there was nothing to worry about. I should have expected nothing less. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yun Chang. Without fail, I, Gwen Yu, shall repay this favor someday. I hear Yanjin Fort is already a den of demons. Will you lend Yun Chang your aid? Mm. By the Azure Dragon Crescent Glaive, I swear it! What can I say? I believe you then. What a pitiful sight. Where are your precious sworn brothers now? Where are your allies? You understand, surely. Bonds are as useful as they are ephemeral. And yet I still choose to believe in the strength of my brothers. Brother! <laughs> You and Shao! Don't you touch him, you cur! <clears throat> you are all bound together in life. And so too you will be in death! <clears throat> so, either forget about me! Run! <clears throat> What's happened to you? <sighs> Brother! Brother! Come to your senses! was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who are born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yun Chong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me, I shall continue to strive forward. Oh. 
memories of you and my brothers here quelled the raging demonic chi within me. I will always remember what you've done. I will have to find a way to repay you. I know. Why don't we watch the Blossoms? I know a good spot for it. Sounds good to me. But our battle is far from over. <clears throat> you and Xiao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was an unearthly sky reaching over Guan Du. Are you saying that Zuen Shao is doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. We will do what we can here. Return to Minister Xiao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Shao. Zhong Mo, our aim is set. We ride into Guantu Fort to take his head. Oh? So <clears throat> then, that's your answer. You've One who bears the blood of the Sun lineage, those who disobey me, shall receive a similar fate. Brother! Elder brother! Join me! Or follow your father and brother into hell. Now, what will you do, Sun Chuan? Indeed. I command you all! Defeat Yuan Shou! And end this war! Hm. You truly believe to have me cornered? How mistaken you are. The power to control this world lies in none other than... My father was highly respected for his official rank. I too held him in great regard. Yet he willingly sent me off as an adopted son, severing the bond between father and son. After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the Crimson Glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. Uh, 
I suppose I ought to. Thank you. You're late, Aman. <coughs> Finish your conquest without delay, and prove that bonds truly do have value. Ben Chu, in death you will be a star. So watch over me to the very last. <clears throat> Gather up. All of the elixir here. I'm leaving the rest to you. Elixir and join me in immortality. We'll put an end to your evil scheme. Hong Jian, lend me your aid. <laughs> Immobilize the dragon. <laughs> 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 A sacrifice on my path. So have pushed me this far. The ultimate elixir. Rest out of my reach yet. But you have given me no choice. <laughs> <laughs> It's over. At last, my brother can rest in peace. Hmm. to you and head back. I'll make sure to come and see how you're doing.
used Elixir to merge with Zhe Long. And the strength of our pact returned me to human form. Huh. That had an unexpected effect. The dragon's elixir field is now inside my body. Huh? I am grateful to you. And as a reward... Sharing one heart, caring for each other, and aiding those in need. We will support the Han court. And bring peace to the commoners! I see our men are well trained, Gong Jing. My lord, I assure you, the enemy shall rest upon the riverbed. On to the next target! Father, brother, bear witness upon me for the future of the Swen clan. Finally, we're going to the south. It seems peace is not that far. That said, the recently appointed Sumayi seems to be highly regarded. A forbidden power. She that needs quelling. Will you be coming? I will stay here. With these eyes that discern fate, 
I must forge the next era.